thank you so much for the honor uh, of being your best man in your wedding. What a privilege uh, it is. Uh, for those of you that maybe don't know me, my name's Tim Krupp. Um, ben and I met about five and a half years ago. He moved in across the street from my family and I, and uh, I would say that we, we hit it off pretty, pretty fast. Uh, we've got a Jesus in common, and we both love music, and uh, uh, we've spent some, a good amount of time serving Jesus here. Um, we've taken crazy long road trips to go visit churches uh, across state borders just for fun. We love working out together um, and just uh, building each other up, praying for each other, and just doing life. Um, so I'm going to tell you uh, kind of my Ben and Amanda's story anyway. So um, Ben and I were just hanging out a few years back uh, one time, just talking like guys do, and uh, we got on the subject of relationships. And uh, Ben started kind of describing to me what uh, he was looking for in a girl. And uh, he said, uh, you know, of course she's got to be really pretty. She's got to be really smart. Um, she's got to have this quality where I can see her serving Jesus when she thinks nobody else is looking. And uh, Ben's kind of going through the list of, you know, of things. And, and I'm starting to think to myself, bro, you're like 30. You might have to lower your standards. <laughs> of course he didn't. Ben, you're an oak. <laughs> so it was some time after that, probably, probably a couple years, uh, me and Ben were working out uh, one morning. And he mentions to me, uh, Tim, I, I think I've been noticing this girl at church. Uh, I believe God's kind of highlighted this girl to me. And he started telling me about her and explaining uh, who she was. And I realized I made the connection uh, just through serving here at church. Uh, I knew who Amanda was as well. And uh, he told me, he said, her name is Amanda. Yeah. Anyways, oh man, I'm so happy for you, brother. I'm just uh, elated. I, you know, I believe uh, that you got exactly the girl uh, that you described to me that day. Uh, my wife and I are just excited just to do life with you guys as well. So, blessings. I'm so grateful to be here with all of you celebrating Amanda and Ben and their very special love. It also gives me a deep sense of warmth and comfort to see the large, wonderful community of people that surround these two. Um, so I suppose you could say I've known Amanda for a very long time. Uh, and as most of you probably know, Amanda is the very definition of love in motion, sometimes <coughs> constant motion, as a result of three espressos and two Red Bulls. But I'm here to confirm she has always been this way, even without the external stimuli. I've always known Amanda to be eager to live, to connect with others, and always full of passion and feeling. So um, when we were little, the three of us, Edward, Amanda, and I, were always creating imaginary worlds um, and dreaming together. We were also constantly over at our grandparents' house, Oma and Opus for short, swimming in their pool with our cousins, and you know who you are out there. Um, there is one home video that captures a gaggle of us cousins when we were all quite young, in line at the diving board, awaiting our turn to jump into the water, where Opa was keeping a watchful eye. So the video depicts me standing at the end of the diving board, shivering and biting my nails, knees knocking, the picture of absolute terror. I did not want to go in the water. Behind me waited my cousins, my brother, and of course directly behind me was little Amanda. Encouraging words were being directed at me from Oma and Opa, but behind me, and you can see it pretty clearly in this video, a quiet, anxious rage is building in the little body of Amanda. <laughs> Suddenly, she can't take it anymore, and she runs to the end of the diving board, she pushes me in, and follows victoriously herself with a large, brave jump, a laugh, and a splash. <laughs> so this is my sister, <laughs> and in no way do I mean this as a bad thing. Amanda is someone who knows how to leap. She isn't afraid of things that a lot of us are afraid of. And even if she is, she faces her challenges with strength and pride. I know this because I have not only been her sister, but also I've been a teammate of hers for many years on our state championship soccer team. 
Amanda was captain of that team, and she was such a leader, I will never forget the things that I learned from her, even there on that field. Her willingness to put herself out there, her willingness to dive in with every mighty bone in her body, we see this today in her dedication to the community here in Worcester and in this church, and not to mention the fact that she's an administrator in Smithville. She's just constantly impressive. She is a brave, born leader. I've been lucky to know all about this great place through Amanda's creativity, too. I hope I'm not giving away any secrets by sharing with you that Amanda has probably filled up oceans with the amount of ink she has spilled writing and journaling every single day. I mean, stacks and stacks of these exist at my mom's house in closets everywhere. Um, when we were growing up, she even wrote on her walls in her bedroom ideas and prayers and thoughts and dreams. It was like a beautiful mind in there. Um, she had always found ways to transform a space or place into a work of art that is all her own, that can make others feel happy and safe. Um, this is a true gift. And I guess that's the thing I really want to say, that being with Amanda is always a gift. She is a fire and a light, and is an infectious feeling. Ben, you are one extremely lucky dude. <laughs> <laughs> and I will briefly share this with you because I find it so moving and true. experience is a constant challenge. It is not a resting place, but a moving, growing, working together. Even whether there is harmony or conflict, joy or sadness, it's secondary to the fundamental fact that two people experience themselves from the essence of their existence, that they are one with each other by being one with themselves, rather than by fleeing from themselves. So, what made me think of Amanda and Ben and their love is the moving, the growing, and the working together. When Amanda met Ben, I felt the disturbance in the force, so to speak. She wanted to challenge herself and connect with parts of herself that he had missed. And to be honest, she really just started smiling and laughing every time Ben entered her thoughts. And Ben, since we've gotten to know each other, I see in you a similar wish to be creative with space and art, but also a desire to bring that creativity into your life at each step and to make your life inspiring to others and full. So the way I see it, Today we all get to celebrate the joining of two big, bright, creative energies. I'm so happy that as Amanda keeps taking all of those big leaps in her life, that she will have someone there to jump with her, or to let her jump alone, and to catch her whether she is running and laughing or just plain scared. So everyone please raise your donuts or your 